Yeah, good morning everybody. Uh, my name's Mark Nicholson. I run and operate a counselling company called Wizbiz, uh, based out on the South Coast. And basically, oh, I just go around knocking doors and providing canvassing services for window cleaners all over the UK. I'm going to make a little mini documentary this week uh, with a chap called Adrian. Um, he found me on the window cleaning business forum, second time he's used me. And what I really like about Adrian is he just gets on with it. You know, I turn up, he knows what he's doing, and, and it's really good. Very, very new to the industry, and you know, I had to show him a few things and stuff like that. But he's taken to it like a duck to water, so I'm going to do a little interview with him later on and just go through a few things with him. It's a bit of a surprise because he doesn't know I'm going to do that, so um, hopefully he's okay with it. But um, the idea of this is just to show people that. You know, if you are new to the industry and you're willing to work hard, you can do very, very well in window cleaning. So Adrian is a brilliant example of that. That's why I thought I'd um, get him on, on board with the mini documentary. Currently just outside Margate in a beautiful, beautiful little town. And uh, really looking forward to it. So I'll keep the posts coming and hopefully you guys get a little bit of enjoyment out of it. And we just go from there. Great. Thanks there. Bye. Right, just a continuation from the mini documentary we're going to be making. I'm sat in Adrian's van at the moment and he's just approaching the house to start cleaning. Um, yeah, doesn't know that I'm doing it yet, so it's quite funny really. Alright, let's be just saying that. So we've got, yeah, I'm just uh, sat in the van uh, filming Adrian's day uh, for the mini documentary. Uh, he's just not the customer's door and um, yeah he's going to crack on a bit so he's, he's just getting all his stuff together. <laughs> and I think he's just twigged that I'm recording him. But um, yeah so in closing we'll talk to him about the mini documentary in a minute and uh, yeah just go from there and hopefully he's up for it. I think he will be. Okay catch you later. Bye. So here we go we've got Adrian, he's just approaching the first window. Um, customers just been out and paid him, so that's great. Um, just watching an action, you know. Like I say, he just gets on with it, and um, coincidentally, it's not actually one of my customers he's doing. I've only just um, come up and met him today. I'm gonna just go through a few bits, but he had to quickly run out and do this one quick. So, in the meantime, I'm eating a bit of lunch, so that's a bit of good teamwork for you. And um, I'm going to say there's Adrian, he's just cracking on with it. I'm going to speak to all you guys later on, no problem. Catch you later, bye. Right, so just a little bit of follow up really um, from earlier on today. So I've spoken to Adrian, everything's all good, he's, he's happy to participate in the documentary, that's great. Um, thus far I've been out about an hour, pulled five, so that's actually a um, really, really good pick up rate. So I'm well happy with that thus far. I just wanted to show you some of the things I get to see while I'm out. It's, it's um, really quite nice actually. No, it really is one of the perks of the job. Um, I get to go all over the country, seeing some absolutely amazing places, and it's just, it is absolutely one of my most favourite parts of the whole job. Um, so this day, just leave it to it, I'll probably give you a little recap to you know, what the final score today was, and uh, yeah, just go from there really. Okay guys, catch you later, bye bye. Hi there everybody, uh, just sitting in um, with Adrian at the moment, we're going to have a little chat. We're over at Adrian's HQ, yeah. i.e. his garage. <laughs> Pumping the water as we, as we go now. So, as you know, his name's Adrian. So, ask him a couple of questions today, really. Um, so, Adrian, how, how long have you been doing the window cleaning for now, though? Been doing it about, about a year, year or so. Yeah, okay, that's great. And um, what initially got you into the window cleaning? Well, I fancy the different type of job, basically, less stress, uh, be my own boss, really, and something that was repeat business. So that is basically what attracted me to window cleaning. Yeah, so yeah, just just like the flexible, yeah, like flexibility of it sort of thing. Yeah, sure. And it's kind of a lot less stressful than what I was doing before. So. Which was in the care industry, wasn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. you could say that friends it meant a lot. Yeah, so it's pretty difficult. Um, and where did you hear about myself and Wizbiz? Internet, various forums, window cleaning forum, and things like that. Yeah, okay, great. And 
Um, what type of system are you currently using at the moment? Well, believe it or not, <laughs> trolley system. The trolley system. Yeah. Yeah. And what would you Lots say the main advantages to that are for well, you at the moment? Do you think? The advantage is if I have to park miles away from it, which a lot of houses are, are that I do awkward access and things, I can just use the trolley. Yeah. That's the advantage of it. Disadvantage is the barrels, lugging them around, they're heavy. You know, when you're filling them up like here, well, I mean, you could fill it into a static tank, I guess, and transfer it over. You could do it that way. But yeah, I mean, but with the van system, you don't have to lug these around and just get those out. So they both got their pluses. Yeah. And what types of houses do you most enjoy doing with the window cleaning, would you say? Uh, well, quite, I quite like doing bungalows and I quite like just doing, you know, your two floors. Yeah. Really. So, uh, what's your what's your least favourite? Anything higher than that? <laughs> higher than Why that? is that really yeah. high? Because you know, with the pole extending and all that, you no, know, it can be a bit a bit tricky. A bit tricky for you. Yeah. And um, when when I came up, a lot more a lot more work when they're up high like that. Yeah. So it's mainly like on your back and your arms. And yeah, I still do a lot of them, but yeah, they're my least favourite. Yeah. And um, when, when I came up the first time back in February, mm. uh, what surprised you the most about the actual service itself um, uh, and what you got for your money? No, I mean, I was very happy with everything you did. I mean, obviously I hadn't used you at that point before, yeah. so I, you delivered basically. That's why I used you again. Yeah. Trustworthy, I think it was cool. Yeah, okay. And um, the amounts of houses I was getting per street. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what I liked about it, yeah, as well. You're getting very close together. Yeah. Whereas when I did some leafleting myself, you know, you get them all spread out. You're going here, there and everywhere, but with you, you get a lock down the street. So it's, it's quicker, isn't it? Yeah. And you get them close together. Yeah, that's good. And um, do, you, do you find that you're getting more calls from the leaflets I'm leaving? Yeah, definitely as well. You get calls from them later on, long after you've gone. Yeah, okay, no, that's great. And um, how do you find these customers when you actually turn up to do them for the first time? Expecting me. There's no problems there. I always ring the uh, ring the bell. You've always let, already let them know when you picked them up that I'm coming. They're expecting me, and I get them with the job. I we'll explain it to them if they don't know about the system and all that. Have a chat with them while I'm doing it. Yeah, it's been no issues. Okay, brilliant. And um, when when you first started, mm. how were you going about getting your customers? Uh, me just leafleting. Just leafleting. And yeah, I picked up customers, obviously, but they're all over the place. Yeah. So not as com compact as the ones you get me. Because I obviously you need to drop a lot more leaflets, and door knocking's better. But yeah. I'm not into door knocking, so. Because yeah. um, you know, just letting people at home know, um, when I first met Adrian, you were delivering how many leaflets a night? Were you going out then? Oh, I should. I don't know how many a night, but I delivered a load of them. Yeah. You know. About five hundred a week. Something say? like that. Yeah, yeah. I dropped. I dropped a lot of leaflets. Just to get customers all over the place, though. So. So you might get one or two down this road and then one down down the other road, you know, and you've got to travel too. So it makes your round kind of spread out. Yeah, okay. And as regards to pricing and things, mm. how, how do you find the pricing that I'm, I'm picking up for you at the moment, would you say? Yeah, fair pricing. Yeah. Obviously as well with the work, obviously being all first cleans, it's intense and it is difficult. Because you're not just doing like one or two first cleans, you might be doing 14 of them a day, first cleans, and they're obviously filthy, very dirty, and it's very hard work, and that yeah. carries on going until you meet the quota. Yeah. So it's, it's intense, definitely, yeah. it's hard work. Yeah, definitely. Um, right, well that's pretty much all I've got in my questions at cool. the moment. Is there anything else you want to add in there though, Adrian? No, that really? sounds about it really, yeah, okay. you know, just Mark's good, he's trustworthy, he does what he says. Basically, if you're looking for a canvasser, I'd recommend it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks for that, Adrian. Um, as you know, we're going to put that in the documentary, so yeah. um, hopefully you won't be eating your words later, yeah. in, later on this one. But um, Well, um, to be fair, we've been doing first cleans for about three days now, haven't we? Yeah. Um, how's that been this time round, would you say? It's been fine, you know. Um, I know what to expect anyway, because I used it last time. And yeah, it's been, been what I expected. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Okay. All right, well, I'm not going to pester Adrian too much because he's a very, very busy man and uh, <laughs> we're sorting out all the water this afternoon and do some other bits. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave you guys with that for now and um, I'm sure we'll be having some more chats with Adrian before I go and everything. So, all right, well, enjoy yourselves and uh, I'll keep the videos coming, guys. Thanks very much and thanks, Adrian, for doing that. That's appreciated. Right, hello, everyone. Uh, day three 
off the knocking for Adrian. As you can see, it's actually raining at the moment, a bit annoying. But we're still out knocking. Uh, I'm going to be out knocking Saturday and Sunday. Adrian's going to be out cleaning Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, two of the best days for first cleans we thought I'd generally find, simply because everyone's home. So you go around, you've got your money, you get to meet the people, and it's fantastic. So we're gradually getting there, slowly but surely, um, probably on about 500, 550, something along those sort of lines at the moment with bookings. So we're on target. I'm hoping to be done by the weekend, ideally. And uh, head on to the next job. It's never ending. All right, well, thanks for that. And I shall speak to all you guys over the next few days, no doubt. And uh, have a great evening. Catch you later. Bye. Just out knocking now. And I'm going to just do some discreet recording while I'm knocking the doors. Um, so I apologise about the video quality. You know, you might lose your picture for a little bit. But you're going to be able to hear what's going on. So fingers crossed. I've just pulled one a minute ago. First person I spoke to, so that's pretty cool. Right, so there's no answer. So on, on my sheet, what I do is I write the name of the road at the top and then I'll just write down the door numbers around. Oh, yeah, sorry, I think you're in, you're right. Um, window cleaning, just going to be popping up next week with one of the um, with one of the machines, you know, the long pole? Oh, yeah. Um, so I've just said to everyone, because I'm a stranger at their door, just try us out in the front, see if you like it. Uh, you get your glass frame seals, door, door frame surrounds, and your step, six pounds. Oh. And it could you actually blow your socks off, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, it's okay. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm talking about today. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, all right, I'm not even like... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave you a card. Right yeah, well, well yeah. I've picked up loads out there over the last couple of weeks. So, um, you can't miss us. We've got a little black and purple van. So, okay. um, what a lot of people do is they try the front the first go. And if they're happy and they like it, they do the back next time round okay. sort of thing. Right. Um, yeah, we've got up to three stories as well. So, quite a big area. Lovely. Cheers. I'm not even though. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, I thought I was going to get that one then. But never mind. Onwards and upwards. Next house. Here we go. Well, these ones are pretty dirty. And they've got a graphic sticker saying no call calling on the door. So. Hi, that's not a bit of a menace. Um, oh, it's just a window cleaner. It's going to be popping up in the next couple of weeks with a machine, you know, the long pole? Right. So, um, what I've said to everyone, just while we're down, try us out in the front, see if you like it. Uh, you get glass frame seals, door door frame surrounds, and just step. Yeah, we're not, we're not really... No, not for you. Sure no, that's not for I'm just asking everyone today. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, they're pretty bad on the front, so, right. um, you know, I'm going to give you two prices. Yeah. The first price is what I call the OCD price, so we'll spend a bit more time on it. Okay. On your front, you'll be looking at 12 uh, um, for the OCD price, or if, for one rinse, which is our standard one, we'll just go over it to the best we can. You're looking at seven on the front. Right. Did you have a preference where we spend ages on it, or just yeah. quit? Yeah, you've, what, the 12, the 12 quitter? Yeah, I love it. And um, what name shall I put it down? Two double eight. Two double eight, that's great. Now, we're aiming for either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, did you have a preference? Tuesday or Wednesday, love. Tuesday? Tuesday. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Not no Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. No, yeah, no problem. So Wednesday would be better, would it? Yeah, yeah lovely stuff. And um, what we do then on Wednesday, we'll just pop along and crack on with that for you. Right. Um, if you're not in, a lot of people just leave the money under the mat for us, right, to be fair. Right. So that way you can go out and right. enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you want a regular service after the first one, yeah. what I'd recommend is do your front every six weeks, because that's what all the neighbours see. Yeah. You do your back whenever, so like Christmas, right, birthdays, right. cousins yeah. coming yeah. over. Just gets yeah. that cost down for yeah. you. You know, without leaving gates open, so it's better yeah. for you, I find. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll leave you a card as well. So, yeah. we'll, we'll, like, so yeah. yeah, it's all on there for you. Set a phone number. I'll put my name and the price yeah. on there for you. And then. Um, if you have any issues in the meantime, just give us a shout. If not, we'll pop up and see you on right. um, Wednesday. Okay. Loads of nice chat, Jeff. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So, what I did on that one, because they were really bad, is I've charged more on the first clean, and then if they go regular, it'd just be seven pound after that. So, um, they're going to need a lot of attention, which is the problem. So, um, just trying to find the door number. Twenty-four. All right, so you actually see me get one there. I'm going to go next door as well, see what we can do there. Fingers crossed, maybe get two in a row. Be good. Um, so, yeah. 
it's not too difficult sometimes. It's actually quite fun. I actually like it when the husband says no, then the wife comes out going, yes, yes, yes. It happens every day. Hi, that's all bit of paper. Um, window cleaning. Oh, we've, uh, just, no, we haven't read. Oh, no, yeah, problem. quite happy right. sort of thing. Nice guy. Pun? Quite happy. Nice yeah. guy. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cheers, have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. So, you know, that's a bad one. So, I just always like just to ask. I actually like him. He's a nice, nice person. And um, sometimes they go, do you know what? I haven't seen him for a little while. I'll give you a go. So, I'm going to do a few, a few more. But it was actually quite nice getting that. That first one when, when I was recording, I thought it might take a little while, sometimes it does. So again, you know, there's no one in, so what I'll do is I'll get the door number, I'll write it on top of my sheet, 28. And then if this road turns out to be good, I'll come back tomorrow and perhaps Again, there's no one in. So again, just make a note of the number. Always shut the gates where possible. Just a nice thing to do, especially in the wind. drawbacks knocking quite early Saturday morning is sometimes a night out of bed yet and so you find yourself waiting at the door a bit longer no no one in on that one okay next one I'll do a couple more hopefully pick up another one that'd be really good There's a lot of bungalows on the street. I don't actually like knocking bungalows, as a rule. Sometimes I find with the bungalows, um, the old people, who you generally find, they've had the same guy for 20 years, and then they keep you at the door telling you about how good he is and what a nice fella he is, and you just can't get away from him. As you can tell, I do go at quite a pace. Um, one of my cameras has actually put a thing on their phone that tracked how far we were walking, and in three hours we walked over six miles in three hours. So it just goes to show. I think got to be. Oh, hi, you're right. Oh. <laughs> Hi, oh, yeah, sorry we've been here. That's all right, yeah. Uh, window cleaning. Just popping no, up there. Lovely stuff. Quite happy with him, sort of thing. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Just ask him one say. Cheers. I'm not saying that. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hmm. That's different. The lady blew me a kiss on the way out. There you go. All right, well, um, that's enough of that for now, and I'll do a bit more later on. Now, these ones, very security conscious. CCTV stickers on the door, no cold callers allowed, no hawkers, no sacklers, no junk mail, no flyers. Probably book them straight in. Fingers crossed.
and so there's no answer. So just like the other day, I've written the name of the street at the top and I'll just make a note of the door number. 14, not in. And again, as always, try and shut the gates. Give them something less to moan about. This one's a small bungalow, double bay front with a door. A little side window. I'm going to go seven pound front and side. I think that's quite nice, nice place. No, no one in, so again, just written the door number at the top, shut the gate, next house. A little side window, two bays, bungalow, the door, seven quid. Looking absolutely gleaming. Hi, oh, yeah, you're right. So, um, yeah, window cleaning. It's going to be popping up next week with a machine. I wonder if you'd like to try us out on the front and side while we're down, see if you like it. That was up. Cheers. Have a nice evening, though. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hmm. Move to the next one. Oh, hello, madam. You're right. Hi, madam. Hello. Hello, madam. Oh. Hiya, you all right? Hello, hiya. Uh, uh, window cleaning. Just wondering if you might like to try us out on the front next week while we're down, that was all. Oh, do you mind? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you'd like to try us out on the front for window cleaning next week. I'm coming up with a machine. I already have, um, I'll have one of those. Yeah, I'll put my name on there for you, it's no problems. Um, I already have a window cleaner. Yeah, no problems. Do you like him, nice chap sort of thing? Hey? Nice chap. Yes, yeah. No, no, I I yeah, no problem. I'm not. Leave your card. You're looking at seven pound on the front, and that's your glass frame sills, door door frame surrounds. We'll even do your little step for that as well if it's plastic. Oh, I see. So that's quite reasonable. Yeah, if you get stuck, just give us a shout. There's no problems. Do you do the um, above the windows? Oh, what the cladding? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the cladding and gutters. Yeah, we do all that. So, um, when you say, do it, did you want it cleaned out or did you want it washed off? What, clean, what do you mean? Clean? Um, well, if you want it cleaned out, we'll go up on a ladder, we'll physically put our hand in and just scoop all the stuff out. Or if you just want the faces and soffits washed, we can do that for you. It's sort of all of the, above the windows, you know, that. Not the plastic clad in there? Yeah, so I'll yeah. let you charge Let's have a little look. When you say, do, do you just mean this little section this here? Say. You but, see where it's filthy? Yeah, sure. You know, it's like that round the back. There's yeah. only a couple of windows round the back and that. Yeah, okay. And... Well, we'll do the cladding for you, um, front and back. You're going to be looking at thirty pounds, though. How much? Thirty, three zero, and we'll wash off. We'll wash off above the windows, and we'll do that cladding for you as well. And that's just a one-off thing. That's just a one-off. Yeah, do it once a year or every two years, something like that, perhaps. Oh, I see. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, that. sure. Shall I give you a call in, in, in a couple of weeks? Well, you can't really because I'm, I'm going up to the um, hospital. I've got ah, things okay. on, you know. Yeah, sure. But I will. Keep yeah, you got our number. Yeah, just say you spoke to Mark. That's I me. Will. I do all the legwork. Um, Adrian, who's the boss, he's based in Herne Bay, actually lives in Herne Bay, so it's not... Oh, I see. Based. He's got me up from Portsmouth, believe it or not, to do his door knocking. He's what? He's got me up from Portsmouth to do his door knocking. Portsmouth? Yeah. yeah I, I love door knocking, I do it for loads of people, and Adrian hates door knocking, but he loves the cleaning, so... Oh, um, I see. But I can give, can give you a knock in a couple of weeks, or a week or so. Um, two two. No, I shall be in hospital that week, yeah. 12. Um, a couple of months, maybe? I'll have to leave you to be... Although if I just have a one-off thing yeah, done... Yeah, that's, you know, that's exactly what it is. Um, do it once a year, once every two years, something like that. But at the moment, it's a bit topsy-turvy. Yeah, no, that's you know, all right. Yeah, I yeah. can't sort of say, yes, come next week. Yeah. I can't do no, that. No, that's all right. I mean, I've just lost my little granddaughter. Oh, you know? no. She was only buried uh, four months ago. Sorry to hear that, yeah. But I will keep Yeah, this. like I say, if you know anyone or if you get stuck... Because that is just what I want. Yeah, Because, really. I mean, the chap I have is lovely. He can still continue. Yeah. Even though if I just have a one off with you. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, there's no problem with that. It's a cleaning sea, I, I cannot get up there now. Yeah, it's quite difficult, isn't it? I like I said, we use a machine, we don't use any ladders or anything, yeah, so yeah, it's all done from the ground. Oh, up to three stories with that. Eh? 
We do up to three stories from the ground. Oh, yeah. God. Some 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 people I know do up to seven stories oh, from the ground. Yeah. 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 I mean, you just cannot do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, well, when if you get stuck, when I think, just give us a shout, snuggle. Okay. Yeah, um, love some. Does that include the back? Yeah, that was the front and back I quoted you for. Do you want to have a quick look? Yeah, I can do. Yeah, I'm guessing it's pretty much the same as the front. Locked. Yeah, sure. Come in, come in, go It's all a bit topsy-turvy. Yeah, no, that's, that's all right. Just... <laughs> there we go. Follow me. Yeah. Follow me. God. I think it's going to rain. Oh, I think you're right. Don't you? Are they budgies? Um, the canaries, oh, really. Canaries. Do you know what my dad... He's, he loves bargains. He went to a car boot sale. He bought 50,000 budgies. How many? 50,000 budgies. What the hell did you do with them? They were going cheap. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favourite jokes, that is. Oh, I'll have to tell my daughter. Yeah, it's a good one, though. No, um, that's a mummy, this one here. Yeah. And that's a daddy, the yellow one. Oh, yeah. I said they was not going to have any more babies. Because it's supposed to be rare. Oh, right, okay. To breed okay. them in a cage. Yeah. See, it's because you're a stranger. And um, she laid these two teeny weeny eggs like that. Yeah. And then mirror. Them two little ones. Yeah, it's pretty. Twins, I called them. That one there. And that one yeah. there. Yeah. Them lovely. two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, they're not silly birds. They're, they're not. No. They're quiet. And, um... It's like crows. They've learned to, like, get stuff out of the bins they've now, They've only got they? to see a cat outside. Yeah. And he would start. Really? It's not chirping. And I come running in, and he's right. Mind <laughs> the steps. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, we, we can do your front and back for 30. That's no problem. What about that? Yeah, no, I've included that. That's no problem at all. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not. It's not a long job for us, to be fair. Can you do the plastic on the root on that bit? Yeah, that's what I've quoted, Jeff. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. See, when he does it, he white does the window sills and there, but that part is never touched, of course. Yeah. So how much? Is, how much? Uh, is Thirty. Three zero. Front and back. All that. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> well, well, you're in a bungalow, it's no. It's not a lot of. Effort at all, really, if you've got the right equipment. So, um... see, I mean, it's filthy. I mean, we get yeah. so strong winds here. Oh, no, and then you get, everything gets covered in sand. It's a nightmare, know. blows up from the beach, but it doesn't it? But... Better, yeah, it's nice just to keep on top of it, isn't it? But yeah, it's on the it's on the front there, there's a mobile number down the bottom there. Oh, seven, is it a mobile? There's a mobile Can number. Use... Have you got a normal? Uh, thing? he hasn't got a landline. Most a lot of people don't have landlines anymore. Just use a power, yeah, just use a phone, a mobile. Like, like, How long would it take? Oh, you're looking at uh, maybe about an hour. It an take, hour? Yeah, it won't, it won't take too long to do. Um, yeah, like I've, I've given you a nice price because um, it'd be a case of he'd do it when he's in the area. So he won't he won't come out of his way. He'd just do it when we're doing other ones on the road sort of thing, you know. So but keep, that price won't go up, will it? No, no, no. If, as long as you do it when it's fitting in with our round. No, what? As, as long as you do it... Um, when it's fitting in with our round. So after this week, we're not back again for another six weeks. So nice. if, you, if you're happy to wait, then it'll fit you in with the round. Um, oh, I see. So when's your round again? Uh, well, he's here until Sunday of this week, and then he won't be back again for six weeks. Uh, but maybe that'll fit in nicely with what you're doing anyway, to be fair, so. What? What day is it today? It's Monday. Uh, Monday, yeah. Monday, no, no. There we go. Yeah, no, no problem, sure, check your diary. What, this Friday? Yeah, I'll get them up this Friday for you. Mm. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. If, if it's pouring down the rain, we won't do it. If it's just a light drizzle, then it's not a problem. But, um, like, like, we won't come out in yesterday's weather, for yeah. example, because that was just crazy. If anything crops up, they're phoning me from the hospital tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah, just give us a shout. If anything crops up. So we'll just... Well, um, if, well um, if I take your number, then oh, I yeah. can give you a quarter of it. Three double six, one off then. Absolute one off, yeah. And then if I ever need the window cleaner, I can give you a Yeah, you've got a number yeah. as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. 
So um, yeah, Prince. So when I was chatting to you, uh, Mark, I think I wrote it on there for you. There you go. It's a little. It's a guy called Adrian. He's the boss. He'll come out and do that for you. Oh. I'll do his leg work. Oh, well. Yeah, good team. You know, he's this tall. You can't miss him. No, it's <laughs> not going to be any deer in that. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Front and back. But um, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you a shout, and then if you want to get on board, great. Love yourself. Cheers. Thanks, Have a nice evening. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, are you in the garden of my Riley? <laughs> cheers, there. Thank you. So I just got one. The thing is, Adrian don't really want cladded jobs and things, so I'll probably put it on the back burner for a bit. Oh yeah, so, window cleaning. Yeah, just probably probably window cleaning. Sort of loud off. Cheers, I'm not even thank you. Cheers. <laughs> See with that lady then, I'd be a little bit careful because um, they didn't get away from her, which was a shame. Right, it's about uh, half nine, quarter ten. Uh, Adrian's just start doing a few first cleans at the moment. It's a little bit too early for me to start knocking at this stage, so I'm just sitting in the van and um, just kind of supervising, <laughs> if you will. Um, he's just about to rock onto a house right now, so I'm going to just try and covertly get him in action. No, he's just knocked the door. Uh, customers is expecting him, so he's just knocked the door. He's going to just crack on with it. Um, I actually see the customer looking through the porch window watching us doing across the road a minute ago so he's definitely definitely in Adrian's just going back over how the pole works with the uh, gentleman. Um, I did tell him on the door, but if they've not had it before, sometimes it's just good to go over it and reassure the customer what's going on. Um, this, this particular front that he's doing, show you it. Um, we're doing that one for eight pounds. And I've said to the customer, um, you know, you do your front every six weeks, that's what the neighbors see. Do the back whenever you want it. It's got quite a lot of access issues. Um, the garage door, the only way to the back is with the garage door over the top, and a previous window cleaner. It actually broke his roof. So, uh, yeah, so the fronts are good for him. Adrian's actually really, really good with um, the customers. I think it's his background. Um, his, his previous work history was dealing with you know, like customer service, dealing with people and things. So um, when he deals with the customers, he's very polite. He just gets on with it and answers all their questions and things, and they seem to like him. When I knocked on the gentleman's door, he was a little bit sceptical about the pole system. I explained about how much safer it is and um, that 
you know that he gets the glass frame seals each time etc so um hopefully at the end of this he's going to be keen and uh wants to stick on the round i think he will he's a nice guy so fingers crossed okay well that's great i'll leave that with you for now and um we shall speak to you all soon cheers so we've got adrian he's just going to do one of the houses i've got for him um the other day so he's just extending the pole he's knocked the door already there's been no answer from the customer so he's just going to get on with it um the, ni the nice thing is the customer knew that he was coming today so literally just had to turn up and get on with it um i always recommend even if you don't think the customer's in just give them a quick knock um and that way they can come out and meet you sometimes they actually uh, pretend that out and i think they do that for two reasons um the main reason being is they just want to watch you and sometimes they haven't actually got the money on them so they're, they're, they're a little bit embarrassed but um you know, I'd say about 98% of the customers I get pay. It's, you know, unfortunately it's not foolproof. There are sometimes sometimes people that don't, but um, I'm sure Adrian will tell you it's not really had any problems with that. So. Uh, this front uh, we got for seven pounds, and it was the glass frame seals, door door frame surrounds, and that was on a six weekly basis. Because the agent's just giving it a quick clean now. And that's that really. I'll um I'll get some more footage over the next next few days, no doubt. Alright, thanks very much. Alright, um just come up to the third house of the morning. Adrian's just gonna start cracking on with this one. Um this customer I think is gonna be a bit more wriggly than the last one. She was really keen on just seeing what it was like, so front which consists of um, the four windows and door and again you'll get the glass frame seals, door door frame surrounds and the step and the idea is if she's happy she's gonna let us do the back next time so you know we'll just we'll just see what it's all about I really don't know if she's in or not so it'll be interesting to see Adrian's setting up we just put his little sign out and Unfortunately, we're stuck behind a bush, so I'm not sure. Oh, there goes the dog. Hopefully, she's in, and you get to hear how he handles it when she comes to the door. Sorry about that. Call came through. Just had just saw one of the curtains twitch as he uh, as he approached. So um, that's why the customer seems okay for him to proceed. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Just get on with it. Minus a slight technical issue, I think. But yeah. So that is basically um, how it works. The customers that I get know that you come in when you turn up. They're generally just all like that, really. Um, yeah, so try to keep it as easy as possible. Just book them in, allow the guys to turn up and just get on with it. I really don't know what more I can do than that, really. All right, well... I'll be doing a little bit more later on with Adrian. Um, we're going to have a little meeting this afternoon. Let's go through a bit. I'm going to be going to my fourth hotel since I've been on this job this afternoon. So 
it's just a nightmare sometimes. But there you go. All right, thanks for that. Cheers, bye.